In this problem, we have to evaluate this indefinite integral. So we have powers of tangent and secant. So whenever you have powers of tangent and secant, there's a rule that you can use to figure it out. So if you have an even power of secant, you can save the secant squared. If you have an odd power of tangent, you can save a copy of secant tangent. So even secant, save the secant squared. Odd tangent, save the secant tangent. So in this case, we have an odd tangent and an even secant. So the easiest approach, I think, is to save a copy of secant squared because we have an even secant. And we've already done that. Like you already have it right here. It's right here. We've already saved a copy of secant squared. So when you do that, because we're saving a copy of secant squared, u is the other one. So u is the tangent of pi x over 5. And now we'll take the derivative. So the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So du. So here it'll be secant squared of pi x over 5 times the derivative of the inside. So the inside function is really pi over 5 times x. So when you take that derivative, you're really taking the derivative of x, which is 1. And the pi over 5 just hangs out. So this is dx. Now we don't have a pi over 5 constant in our integral. So we'll divide both sides by pi over 5 uh, like this. Pi over 5, pi over 5. When you do that, you're basically multiplying by the reciprocal. So 5 over pi du is equal to secant squared of pi x all over 5. And then we have our dx. And now we're ready to, to make the substitution. So let's do it. So this secant squared of pi x over 5 is right here, and it's going to become 5 over pi du. So I'll pull out the 5 and the pi. Our tangent is u, so u to the ninth, and then we still have our du. Really cleaned up nicely. So now we can use the power rule. So this is 5 over pi. So we'll add 1 to the 9, so u to the 10. And then you divide by the result, so 10 plus c. This is equal to, let's see, 5 over 10 is 1 half, so it'll just be 1 over 2 pi, and then tangent, so tangent of pi x over 5, and that's to the 10th power, and then plus our c. What a weird answer. <laughs> Just really funky looking answer. The 1 over 2 pi. It's uh, Yeah, 5 over 10 is, is, is 1 half, so everything looks good. Right, because you would get 5 over 10 pi. So that's just 1 over 2 pi because 5 goes into 10 twice and it goes into 5 uh, once. And that would be the final answer. Again, whenever you have an even power of secant, just save a copy of secant squared. So in other words, just put it over here and it's already there for us. So we just let u be tangent and everything works out. That's it.